Hi Virgo! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jennifer Fawn. I do weekly tower readings. If you would like me to continue doing the weeklies, please give this video a thumbs up if I can get this out. Please give this video a thumbs up because I'm thinking of switching it up a little bit. I'm thinking about maybe doing twice a week for the signs so I can do other kinds of spreads. Um, and based off of the thumbs up, I will be determining if I'm going to just do it weekly or bi-weekly. So if you would like to see my face once a week, give it a thumbs up. Okay? You have your vote too. Um, I did not show the cards because my ear is ringing. I do not show the cards because I channel the messages. I hear, see, feel, and know things. For example, I can get the same card, two different readings, two totally different messages. I am here to help you, so I like to focus on giving you the messages, not putting on a show and showing the cards. I hope we can be good with that. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you leave me feedback. Do all the things. Oh my god, this happened in a... Who was it? Taurus. The car just wanted to fly out, and I think I'm going to take them. Even though Taurus got a little confusing because there's a lot of energy in front of me, okay? It gets a little scattered. I'm already there on my own. Um... Okay, this is coming in very clearly, Virgo. You are dealing with someone or somebody you are dealing with is dealing with a, somebody who is presents in the energy of an air sign. Okay, so this is somebody who can either be an Aquarius, a Gemini. What's the other air sign? Gemini? Who am I missing? Head scratcher. I really can't think of it right now. The heck? Okay. Anyway, they're presenting as an air sign. So what that is, is somebody who's in their head. And I'm going to relate this to, like, sexual energy. So I don't know if you've ever had relations with someone who is an air sign. But sometimes the energy that is, is, like, they're not in the moment with you. They're in their head. Ah, oh, Libra. There it is. I wonder why I forgot that sign. I'm actually literally trying to forget somebody in my life who's a Libra. And now it all makes sense. So please forgive me. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. When these people ha can have a tendency to be in their head during the act. So when you're with them, it could very much feel like they're not in the present moment with you. They're in their head. It feels like there's not a connection. So that could just be a person you've been with in the past. Um, you could be this way. You could be presenting this way, like two in your head, not living in the moment. Or somebody that you're dealing with is dealing with someone who's in this energy of just, it comes across as almost like going through the act, but like uninterested or not fully there because they're here. They're like thinking about the next thing or what happened at work today. It's very hard for them to just be lost in the moment, okay? Um, so somebody, you, you could be dealing with someone who's that kind of energy and you're bored you could be that kind of energy and somebody's bored with you or somebody you're dealing with it deals with that kind of energy and they're bored because there's this sense of um yep somebody's bored and this is like the the masculine energy is coming across in um in the air like um half in half in the moment and this energy is very much feminine energy like she's like 
Come on. Come on. Come on. And then we have this very passionate energy. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We definitely have the universe is coming in with um, orchestrating something that needs to happen. Okay, so there's something here that's needing to be sacrificed or somebody feels like it would be a sacrifice or something they would have to let go of or something like that. Okay, it's like you want to let it go, but you're holding on to it or it's like you're almost gone, but you just got your hand on it. Like, no, I'm still here. I'm not sure. Um, there's, there's this energy of watching, being watched, somebody watching you. Um, creeping, creepy creeperson. Okay. Um, but there's somebody who's bored. I'm getting the chills now. There's somebody who's bored because it's like their heart isn't in it. I don't know if that'll make sense for you, Virgo, but it's like because of that. Okay. So, you know, it could be this dynamic, like this air presenting energy. Okay. I don't know how to explain this where it doesn't sound confusing because I, I'm, I'm understanding that not everyone understands what I say when I, when I say that. So there's this person, okay, the two energies are this. One is presenting as like not fully in it. And because of that, this other side is feeling like because they can feel that the person's not all in it, it's like their heart isn't in it because they're very much an energy of somebody who needs to be like lost in whatever it is that they're doing like an all-consuming energy. So it kind of bothers them that they can feel in this connection that there's all this head chatter going on all the time. I know for me, that's super annoying. Um, but there's an energy here where like something needs to be sacrificed. Now this person could want to be moving towards the person who's they're sensing is bored and they're just going to come in with some like truth and just deliver them some message um, because they can sense that they're dissatisfied about life or something like that. Or they're really watching and studying and trying to like figure this person out so they can present them with something like an offer. But it's like this person is very much aware that there's a sacrifice that needs to be made here. And the, there's somebody in this dynamic that feels like they're tied up at the moment. And they could be like physically tied up or just tied up with their life, their life situation, whatever's going on. But I'm feeling like this air energy here, like there's just, there's like just no interest sexually, like, or it's just bored sexually because there's this, this other energy. Okay. Let me just cut to the chase here. This feels like a three-party dynamic. And what I mean by three-party is that this could just be three people, a dynamic between three people. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're like all sleeping together or one person is sleeping with two people. It could be an energy of like somebody wants that to happen or somebody wants somebody to sacrifice somebody so that they can have that with them. But there's definitely this energy of like being looked in on and it could be on both parties, being curious, trying to figure something out. There, it could be two exes looking in on each other, uh, you know, and see what's going on in their lives. And they're getting this energy because when I look in that way, when I look, when I look into the situation as it's two people looking into their ex's relationship, um, it feels to me like they're both bored. They're both uninterested in what is in front of them right now. So because of that, it's almost like they would sacrifice the people that they're with connected to because they're just uninterested and bored and they're, you know, they, they want some excitement. So they're like, shit, I'll give it up. I need a little excitement in my life because there's this overall energy because things are like this, people are picking up or sensing that. And there's this passionate energy here um that feels new and exciting and this could be like a direction of your life something that you're excited about something that has you standing in your power something that makes you feel close to somebody vulnerable with somebody 
Um, there could be somebody that makes you feel vulnerable and open or somebody new in your environment that is like a ray, a ray of sunshine. Like I'm literally getting like this lighting up feeling like when you're in their energy. Um, I'm getting they could have blonde hair for some reason. Red hair, blonde hair, red hair and blonde hair here. Um, but this person, like what I could be getting from that is just like the same thing. Like they light up your world. They're, they're a light to you. There's something about them that feels light or they seem light or all of their features are light. But yeah, like very pale skin because I'm feeling like when you want to just pull them into you, like there's this, like if they were in front of you, it's like you're resisting the urge to just grab them and like pull them in. There's something about them that you just want to like, I'm almost getting like just cuddle up with them and almost not even say anything. Like there's this feeling of like, I just want to hold you. I just want to lay with you. I just want to cuddle with you. I just want to feel close to you there because there feels like there's distance here. There's distance between these two people. Now, these two people that that want to be close with each other, I'm feeling like where they're at right now in their relationships, it's such a mirror. Um, it's such a mirror because it's like they both, Huh. It's like they both are where they're at or in their situations right now because they have to be. There's this feeling of like, I ha like it's like you don't have a choice almost. It's like I have to be in this situation right now. This is the situation I have to be, or I, ha it, I have to be. Oh my gosh, how do I want to explain this? Virgo, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's something that feels very confusing about this dynamic but, or this energy. Like there's a lot of confusion, which makes sense because I'm, I'm having a hard time like coming up with the words to say. So there could be somebody you feel this strongly about that like you can't even figure out what to say to them. Or you could like be typing out like what to say to them, like a text message to them or some sort of communication to them. And like you're deleting it because you're just like, nothing seems like it's the right thing to say. Like I'm getting a very strong feeling of that. Like, what do I even say? I'm embarrassed or like, I don't want, it's you're, like you're really um, anxious about how you're going to be perceived or looked at or if it would be, if it would be perceived the wrong way like what you're saying or whatever I don't know it feels confusing there's something that's like unsure here or there's like confusion but I'm definitely feeling like both people whoever these people are Virgo you'll know okay are where they need to be right now like it's like it, it feels like you don't have a choice that's the only way I can explain it it's like we're here, we're going through the motions of everyday life. Like, this is where I have to be. This is what I'm doing. This is the bed I made. I'm going to lay in it. This is the choice I made. I have to go through it. So there's almost feels like there's distance there because of that. You could both be in a place in your life right now where you just have to be where you're at, or you've accepted that you have to be where you're at. So it feels like you're sacrificing a person. This could be a whole nother dynamic that's coming in. It could be that you're both in a place right now where you've just accepted acceptance of like, your journey and where you are. So it feels like you're sacrificing this person that you're wanting to be close with, wanting to move towards, who light up your li who lights up your life, who's your world that you want to communicate. It's like you can't communicate with them because of where you're at. You can't be close to them because of where you're at. But there's like this acceptance here that you're both just going through the motions of life because you have to. But there's this energy of feeling like you're giving up something there's a sacrifice here, like, and it's hard because you have to give it up because it very much feels like you have to, and, but you don't want to, like, you're, you're just like, how, you're just, you're just playing over your head, like, how can I keep this thing, how can I hold on to this thing, but it's like, this thing has got to go, you gotta let it go, or, or this could be another dynamic. You sacrifice something that you felt like had to go, okay? 
And now that it's Mercury retrograde and everybody from your past is flying up, they're like, hey, how you doing? You you could be, because to me, the re this retro retrograde energy feels very different where I feel like the people from the past are coming back up almost for like things of like closure, but then like the people who are coming together because for they feel like they sacrificed something or coming together for closure are actually realizing in those moments like, damn, I want to be with you. Like that's how it feels. It's not like... Scorpio season, death, this needs to die, I never want to visit again. It's like you go to have that closure, but then you realize like you're meant to be together forever and it changes that in a totally new way. So you could be something you thought that you sacrificed and released. You could be coming back together with it and realizing like, oh my God, this relationship with this person from my past sparks all this amazing energy in me and it feels so good and I'm just like they like I'm getting the energy of like they're just so exciting to you like you get so excited um about them that you just once you're around them like you want to be closer with them like I'm now I'm getting like you just want to smell their hair or their neck um like you like their smell but you like the way that they smell um and when you're around them, that their smell could trigger you to bring back all these feelings and emotions. And then in that moment, you're realizing you're both in relationships or partnerships with people that are just like you're half in or they're half in or you're both half in because you're both in it. You and your current partner are both in it because you feel like you need to be. Um, or you you were fine with how things were. Like that was the direction your life had to go on. But now once you reconnect with this person, you're like, oh, what the fuck are we doing? Like... Let's go have sex right there over there. That's how it feels. Like, there's, it's just like, what am I doing? There's this realization of like, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm lighting this because it's getting a little intense in here. And confusing. So I'm like trying to like uh, figure this out, you know? So Virgo, you could just be feeling how I'm feeling right now. Confused and like, what the hell is going on? People you thought things were over with could just be rising up out of the ashes. And it's like this, you thought like, I'm done with this person. I'm give, I gave that up a long time ago. And then they're in your face and you're like, oh my God, I love you. Let's go get married and have babies. Like that's how it feels. Um, so you could have sacrificed something. And now there's this moment that happens in the retrograde where they come back into your life. And it's the universe the universe because eh? we also have two masculine energies here one is you know the in the head the in the head guy the guy in the head guy and the ones in the heart guy so there could be a choice between two people one that feels very passionate and the other that um uh one that brings up the emotion of passion and then one that just feels like boring I don't know and it's almost like you're okay with the boring like but this person is bringing up the realization or the clarity that like yeah I'm just over here bored because there's something very tempting about this energy like you know the forbidden fruit or you know it's wrong or it's not right or you both know it's wrong or it's not right but there's something so tempting about it it's like you just gotta have it like you just need to taste it you just need to touch it you just need to feel it like you just want it there's something about it that's like it's it's like why does this always come through with the virgo like there's this primal like give me that like I need that um it's it's a very tempting energy it feels forbidden it feels like it's off limits and there's something about like like when you're around this person that there's like they're just being themselves but it's like it's like you feel like they're just like waving this wand around you're like tempting you or just and they're not, they're just being themselves, but that's just the energy that they have. Like there's this just ooziness of sexual energy that oozes, I'm getting, like just oozes from them. Or like every little thing they do, it's just like so cute or sexy or they're just sitting over there 
eaten and you're just like, oh my God, why is that so attractive right now? Like you don't even understand. And maybe that's why this feels confusing to me. It's like, you don't even understand what it is, but it is, okay? That's how it feels. And it's, it's definitely an energy where people are looking in would probably not believe you or be like, oh, you're a fucking lying. That's bullshit or whatever. But it's, it, it's got that energy of just like, you know how you look in and you'd be like, hmm? Hmm? What the? I don't understand it. it. It just feels like that. Like people are watching or they're looking. It could be an energy of someone's literally just trying to move somebody out of the way. <laughs> you're like, when you're trying to get to something and you're just like, shh, move out of the way. I'm coming through. Um, it could just be somebody wants to be close somebody somebody now I'm getting the chills somebody could just miss closeness with people like they just want to feel close to somebody and I'm talking close like in all ways not just in a sexual way like close like vulnerable with someone where you could cuddle and not talk where you just could really hug them like those long hugs those meaningful hugs that you know mean something there's this energy here of like two people are very much the same person. They are coming from the same energy or the same path in life or have similar upbringings or they've known each other their whole life um, or they knew each other in, in, in childhood. You're going to come together again and you're going to have some sort of realization about like it re-sparks the passion between you and you leave these people behind or you realize how bored you were once they come back and you're just moving towards it and sacrificing something to be in this energy. Because there's this feeling of just like, yeah, like, I don't know if you've ever hugged someone that you haven't seen in a long time. And it's like, you really love them. And maybe you can't even express that. Like, Virgo, sometimes you have a hard time expressing things. Like, you could be good at writing things down when you know it's safe to love. But, like, expressing it outwardly, like, how you really feel, like, vulnerably. And, the, like, that can be hard because you're, you don't want to be hurt. But this is, like, an energy of, like, there's something familiar about this person. There's something familiar. So you may know like there's something going on with someone close in your life that feels familiar to you. They could be new and they feel familiar or they could actually be familiar. Like somebody from your past who just you have that bond with them where you feel like you were ripped from the same cloth is what I'm getting. Like they just get you. They understand you. There's something secret and private about it. Like, there's something where, like, it feels like running off together, like, sleeping together. Like, it could be somebody who, in the past, like, somebody was in a cheating dynamic with someone where, like, everything you did, you ran. It was such a close bond that where normally maybe you wouldn't accept this type of behavior. There was such a closeness and a familiarity with this person that you accepted something you wouldn't normally accept because just being around them just felt you felt good something felt good about them and now you're just not happy like I'm getting like you're not happy with where you're at you're not happy with where you're living you're not happy with the people around you something is tempting you to move away from it towards it or st like the sacrificing energy or behavior um one feels very like you know that that motherly like nurturing closeness like energy and the other one feels just like I don't know how else to explain it. I already explained it. I don't know. But Virgo, I think you'll understand what's going on here. Whatever's going on, the universe is presenting you with a situation. I feel like it's a choice between two directions, jobs, people, sacrificing a relationship, sacrificing, you know, something that you really want to move towards because you have to be where you're at right now. You don't know how this applies for you, but there is something that needs to be let go of, surrendered, sacrificed. It's not going to be easy. I'm feeling like it's something that feels like a home to you. And um, the universe is just making it, it's got, it's, it's got to happen. But I'm feeling like it's not, it's like you're going to have to mourn the loss of something. But it almost feels with like the act, the knowing of like this has to be done right now because this is just where we are at or the cards we were dealt. There's that understanding there and almost with knowing that maybe at some point in the future you'll come back together because there's this sadness of like when you say goodbye to someone and you hug them, it's like you know you're not going to see them for a while. So like you really want to bring them in close to you 
you want to remember how they smell you want to remember what it was like to look in their eyes you want to just really take everything you can in about that person this is very like 90 day fiance energy <laughs> um where you just don't know what's gonna happen and you're very accepting of like this is where we're at right now i have to give this up but it, it's hard whatever it is it's hard it's not easy and you're not happy about it virgo please leave me feedback in the comments Hopefully you're not dealing with a Libra that you're trying to forget. And I'm, I'm like, maybe one day I'll make a video about it. But um, make sure you leave me feedback. Do all the things that you do. And I'll see you guys next week. If you thumbs this video up because you want it, or are you going to sacrifice it? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.